Alright, what's up, GFL fans? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is Fuel for Days coming with Compound V. Compound V. It's one of the potions that they drink in a show called The Boys. The Boys. There's two of them. Temp V and Compound, and Compound v. v. We are, He doesn't really know. I really don't know. He definitely doesn't watch the show. I watched the first season of it. Um, I can't remember much about it. I remember it was really awesome. I don't know why I stopped. I think because there's just so many shows out there. I should go back because it was a really good show. So check it out. So Compound V is the second one of the potions they drink. Elixirs. So the first one was Sour Lemon Lime. If you haven't seen that review, go back and check that one out. Yeah. This one right here. This one is... There is... Lemon lime, coconut, there's this weird word. Ginseng. Ginseng. And berries. It and doesn't say what kind of berries. Yep, just berries. So what ginseng is, ginseng is something that has a bitter note mm -hmm. and also has a, a earthy note. So earthiness is stuff like things that actually grow, grow from the ground. Mushrooms, carrots, potatoes. Exactly. So maybe it might have like that earthiness to it. Which is kind of exciting. I like different things if they do it right. Not like they did with a... Uh, they tried with Sugar Plum to do the craziness and it didn't work out. And 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 um, Health Potion. That didn't work out for me. So this one I'm, I'm pretty excited about. So let's open it up. Check it out. Sorry. 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 He almost wiped out. I gotta say this is actually kind of weird. It smells like one of Dad's friend's houses. Oh, really? She's a baker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Yeah, she's a home baker. Like, a business. Yeah. Top, top notch. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Her stuff is good. So it smells like a, it smells like a bakery. It smells like her house. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a great thing, then. That's a great thing, then. Awesome. <laughs> That's so funny. It smells like a pastry. <laughs> this is a pastry chef. Now the thing is, guessing the fruit could be fruits that are bitter because of the ginseng would make those fruits have a bitter afternote. So it might be the things that are bitter. Such as like blackberries have a little bitterness to them. But do you get the blackberryish taste the, other than the, the, the smell? Yeah, other Maybe. than the. Actually, I could have a little bit of blueberry like uh, smell in here. I don't smell like berry, like strawberries or raspberries. I I, it's more on the notes of like a blackberry or a um, blueberry. It does smell like the house. <laughs> yeah, it does. But you can smell the coconut. Yeah. You can smell the coconut in here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. This time not earthy is at all. No. I just feel like something of them is the same. Reminds me of the, a Gatorade. It reminds me of the blue Gatorade. Is that only tricking you because of the blue color? No, I think it's still actually as the Gatorade. -y. It has a weird aftertaste that I'm getting in this. Okay. So an after smell. An after smell, but nothing like the horrible ice shatter. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't like ice shatter. Yeah. You're right. That's the Gatorade. -y. Yeah, it does. It smells good. Dude, you're on top of your game, bro. Yay. He's on top of his stuff. I taught him well. <laughs> uh, I taught him well. I taught him well. <laughs> uh, it does have a Gatorade like smell to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would. You would be. I would think this is a Gatorade. Now it has more of the berry notes. Yeah, but not what kind of, of berry? Not much of the coconut at all. I'm guessing blueberry. You're guessing blueberry. I'm guessing a little bit of blueberry. I gotta see that again. Yep, I'm gonna guess blueberry. Yeah, I think it's like a blueberry Gatorade. A blueberry Gatorade. Yeah, I don't. I don't smell the coconut. I don't smell the um, obviously ginseng. I don't even know what ginseng smells like. But the bitter notes, maybe that's where I'm getting the blueberry at. Is a slight bitter notes in it. I think there is. There's some kind of lemon or lime in here. Yeah. With the blueberry. True. True. With the blueberry. And yeah. the Gatorade. It's like a blueberry lemon lime. A lemon lime blueberry. Yeah, I have the berry thing, like the Swedish 
the sweet of a berry, but I don't see how it could be a blueberry. You don't smell blueberry? I don't see blue. I don't. I don't smell blueberry. Okay. Well, I like that you disagree with me sometimes. Yeah. I only get one ounce. <laughs> Now I can see blueberry. Something seems seems like your friends. It's just something in here. <laughs> Tastes like my friend's house. Yeah. If you can eat my friend's house. <laughs> yeah. You can eat her kitchen. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what I would get in here. <laughs> I get a taste and I get a smell in the taste, which is your friend's house. <laughs> you smell my you, your taste in my friend's <laughs> kitchen and living room. <laughs> or maybe it's just weirdly. Because I've been thinking about it, and now I'm trying to get the taste. I'm getting raspberry. I get a blue raspberry and also a blueberry. I Now, blue raspberry and blueberries have a very similar smell. So, it could have been blue raspberry. Could be. You get Sorry, coconut? it's not your day. What? No coconut. Is, is it barely in there? Is it, like, all the way in the very, very back half? Yeah, I got the, I get, like, the milky-ish... Of the coconut inside. Oh. I get that. Okay. I get a tiny little bit in the back. Okay. Well, that's good. Because a lot of people don't like coconut. So maybe if it's so small in the back, people can handle it. So I get it like a raspberry. I don't get the er earthy. You don't get the earthiness? No. Or a kind of bittery. I do get the bitter. That's probably the earthiness then. All right. Sweet. Good job, Ethan. That was a great review from you. All right, as you know, uh, Aiden's not here because he doesn't like coconut. He's like, ah, do it without me because I don't really like coconut. So let's Even see if I can get the coconut. there's no coconut that much. There's not much coconut. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I like that. Wow, mm. I like that a lot. This is cool. That is really cool. It's a cool flavor. That is really cool. Mm -hmm. So I've been drinking this, sipping it really slow. Letting it kind of sit in my tongue, swishing it in my mouth a little bit. Trying to just figure out exactly everything in here. I can taste everything in here. When you get to three flavors, after that, it's hard to start distinguishing the fourth flavor. Because it will get bunched up. Yeah, it starts muddling thing. together. It's kind of like you start mushing all the stuff together and it becomes one product. This right here, I actually can taste it all. You which can is, taste everything? I can taste everything in here, which is pretty which is pretty impressive because I, I didn't think I would be able to. Mm. I get the lemon-lime. Mm -hmm. The lemon-lime, I think, might be the most prominent. Maybe the berries. Seems like those are on equal grounds. The okay. coconut's way in the back. It's all the way in the back, like at the very end. It's a very light coconut taste. So if, if so, if people are out there want like, man, I don't like coconut. I don't know. I shouldn't get that. It has coconut in it. If you don't like coconut for the taste, it's it's very small. If anything, buy if anything, buy a sample from from Jacob Walker on Facebook. Buy a sample from him when he gets it, which he'll probably have it now. Buy a sample from him. Test it out because you might actually like it because it's really light. So I think it's lemon lime. I'd say like a blueberry slash maybe ri uh, blue raspberry. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's I don't think it's because of color that's making me think that. I think it's actually the taste that's making me taste that. I'm wondering if it's because of the bitter after notes. Like there's some notes in there that I think is the ginseng. Yeah, that is true. I do get a bitter. The little tinny bitter notes, I think, is the ginseng, which is making the berries taste like <laughs> bitter berries. Yeah. Which are like a blueberry. Blue raspberry has like a very slight bitter note. I think that's why I'm thinking it's more of the blueberry, which is kind of cool. It has a, it's the aftertaste. I, I still have the aftertaste in my mouth, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying that aftertaste in my mouth. It's really good. Liking it. <laughs> It's refreshing. It's actually a summer flavor. This is a summer flavor. 100% summer flavor. Could guzzle this real quick. Kind of don't want to. I'm enjoying it. So, I'm known for doing mixes. Oh, I want to go on that. I, can, I, can I figure out some that I think and then you could? Yeah, that's a good idea. What do you think would be a good mix with this? 
I think I'm a uh, a little bit more of classified V two to if you like coconut and like up classified V two and up the um coconut a little bit more and the other one if you want more of that key lime mm-hmm. I think you should go with um temp V because that's all straight up mm-hmm. key lime. So if you want a little bit more of that. And with Temp V, I think that would be about, th- I think half and half of them. That would be about right. Because it wouldn't really matter. They'll get they'll both get mixed up because both of them have the key lime and Temp V is just straight up key lime. So it's pretty much impossible for them to get mixed up. Yeah, the lemon lime. Yeah. <clears throat> good good suggestions, Ethan. Those are really good. I'm really teaching this guy really well about how how to get flavors because we do the same thing with regular food. So he's okay. get, he, so he's he's getting pretty a pretty good palate for only being eight years old. So for me, this is a really good summer flavor that would be great as a snow cone. This is a perfect snow cone. Your snow cone truck. You're at a food food truck and you see a snow cone. If it had this flavor in it, I'd be very excited. So with that being said, I think you should mix it with snow cone. G Fuel Snow Cone. I wanted to have this the prominent amount of flavor. Mm -hmm. So I'd actually go with like two thirds of this and uh, one third of snow cone. Mm -hmm. That will make this thing taste like a snow cone. I think that's a great idea. So check it out. And actually won't ruin the color. The color would actually still come up pretty cool. All right. What's your rankings, bud? I'll give this thing about a... I've been waiting so long, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such a small amount. <laughs> yeah, I only get one ounce. <laughs> I think this would be about a... This is so hard because there's more... There's so many flavors going on. Mm-hmm. You, What I do is like rank every single flavor you have. See how good that is. Then figure out how you could put that in the rank from 1 to 10. So, like, the coconut is, like, a 2. And the key lime is pretty good, so I'll be a 5. And the earthiness, I don't get anything of, so I think like I don't have to worry about that. And the blueberryness, so that's about a 3. So, this will be about a 8 or 6. Like in between of there. So seven. <laughs> in between a six and eight. Is yeah, a seven. it's a seven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. Seven. For me, this one's really exciting. I think it's an exciting flavor. I love when they do things that are a little outside the box mm-hmm. that actually work. Yeah. They went outside the box on this one and it worked. I like it a lot. So I like it a lot, but it's not God tier. For, yeah. for me, I'll drink it some more. It might go up in the rankings a little bit because yeah, I'm excited yeah, about yeah. it. So I could take a sip yeah, every time yeah. and get excited and taste little notes and, and have like, ooh, man, I like that ginseng. That bitter note, I didn't like that. That's what it does with this. And that's what makes me excited about it. So with that being said, I think it's about a 8.2. Mm-hmm. It's on the very good side. But I think it could go up in the rankings as I drink it more. Mm -hmm. And I start to appreciate all the little nuances of each flavor. So, I'm excited. 8.2. It's lower than I thought it would be. um, Because I like different. But I think it's going to move up with time. So, make sure you... Like, comment, and subscribe. After you see this, tamp down. And after you say it, I'll do it for Aiden. Peace!